the streaming. Okay. Uh, morning, everybody. Shavua Tov. Charging on into week three um, of this uh, unwanted new normal. Um, but let's, uh, whatever happens in the dark, this, the, the light that comes to the dark is always strong, and that's what we're leveraging. We're riding the wave of, of the light that's uh, breaking through the Choshech. Um, in in, uh, in in lieu of our shiur, once being based on Rav Cook's teachings, we'll start off with his famous quote of um, Atzadikim, uh, Atzadikim Atorim, Enam Koblim Al Arisha, Ela Mosifim Tzedek, Enam Koblim Al Ha Choshech, Ela Mosifim Or. And there's one more. Um, that uh, true Tzadikim do not complain about the dark, they increase light. They don't complain about the evil, they, inc they increase good. So that's uh, that's our goal over here to uh, to promote that. It's a, it's a it's a good approach. I think there's there's been a lot a lot of talk around uh, Ein Tov um, that I'm hearing. We we did it. We, we learn every Friday night. My my mother-in-law is very insistent. Um, all for good. We learn uh, every Friday night the D project. Um, you know, crazy to think how we saw such a terrible terrible tragedy in the, in those moments, and it's, you know, sort of been eclipsed in. Uh, in in these last in these last few weeks, but uh, in, in a sense, that like Hashem prepared us with certain things in, in how we in how we manage this in in our days, and uh, there they spoke a lot about like the power of Ein Tov. That was the 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 Piskai and Pirkavot that we learned the mission in Pirkavot. Uh, I think also in the Bomets for speech yesterday, that was like a big focus of um, you have the the Chachamim. Um, when they look at Noach being an if tzaddik tamim hayab adoratav, there's this. Uh, there's this interpretation that it can go either way, right? Yesh Dorshim Nagnai, Yesh Dorshim Neshvach. There are those that um, interpret the, the the saying of the Torah that in his generation meant it was against him, um, that if he was in another generation, if he was in the Dor Shal Abraham, he wouldn't have been such a great tzaddik. But if he was in the uh, the Dor, um, you know, of, uh, of 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 other of other leaders, he, st he still even he still, even then he still would have been a great tzaddik. So um, so I think. You know, there's there's that way of seeing Noach of like describing it. how is his set good relative to people around him. But there's another the another question beckoned by just the, the, the fact that Rashi phrases it like that is to say, you have the you have the choice. You can see, right? You can see goodness in someone, you can say, Oh, you know, their goodness is good, but compared to that person, not so great. Um, or you can say, "Wow, their goodness is good compared to anybody um, that they would still stand out in in uh, in their tremendous quach, being able to to find goodness." So that's, I think, a, a good kavana for the week is uh, to keep on searching for opportunities to see the good, to find out the good, to seek the good, and um, know that we always have that option, um, no matter how difficult it is. Um, I can't remember what I quoted to last week, but you know, there's a famous Viktor Frankl quote of. Um, we can't uh, we can't control the things that, that happen. I'm, I'm paraphrasing now, but you know we can't control the things that happen to us. But uh, but, but we but we have power um, in between that which, ha which happens to us and the response that we choose. And and he was able to see that in the darkest of dark. And uh, he said that that was that was what got people through, and that was what strengthened them was being able to see how dark and difficult it is, but still to make powerful choices from within that space. Um, we're always in charge of our response. So I think this, uh, um, you know, getting us, uh, I'll quote you, Michael, right? You said that uh, Darren's uh, schutz in your life is that he gets you up every morning for, for Daf Yomi. So our space over here for learning to, to heal him, if it's even just that, it's just a, a quach to make sure that we've done what we wanted to do before 9.30 and uh, we're able to, to sit here together. I remind you of that image that uh, that we shared from, I heard from Rabbi Shavas about the Tzans Rebbe after he lost his 11 uh, children and his, and, and his first wife. He uh, he said to him, how, how, how do you do it? Rabbi Shavas asked him, and he said that that it's like saying Shema. He said his emunah is, is not broken, and when the world around us is, you know, telling us so many things that are opposite to our emunah and and breaking it and hurting us, we put our hands over our eyes just for one moment. We close off from what the visceral reality is telling us. We close our eyes. We we we, we go into that space. We say Shema Israel, Hashem Elokeinu, Hashem Echad. We feel that truth, and then. We can step back out into the world with that chizuk, and we can realize that it is still relevant, it is still powerful, and uh, and find those spaces. Um, but when we look now at uh, this uh, Perik Tehillim 125, it's the sixth of the Shirei HaMa'alot, um, and it should be matching us up with each day in Cheshvan, 
as we said, Cheshvan is Mar Cheshvan. It's a, it's a time when there's no, it doesn't have any of its own light. Um, it's, uh, it's one where we have to bring the light to it. It's also as winter's beginning right now. We're staying the Tain Tanah Matali Bracha. It's a sign that uh, that winter's coming, and then we have to bring the light. We have to daven for the rain. Um, we have to be very active in a space of dark in order to bring light. So that, that's our theme over here. Um, this Tehillim 125, we'll see that, like the rest of the Tehillim, but but over here, and, and I saw it quite specific in the in the in the parasha name that sometimes we're going to describe Hashem in these amazing ways, right? And describe Him as being a protector and describe Yerushalayim be protected and describe the way that Rishayim should be taken down and Sadikim should be rewarded. And I think it's hard in these contexts to sometimes say that because you you see these Rishayim on the top. They still got our hostages and they're still shooting rockets at us. And unfortunately, our soldiers are still being hurt. Um, and uh, we still feel those wounds and we talk about Hashem's protection in our world but we saw our protective uh, forces and our fences come crashing down in a moment so um, the the dark micro over here addresses that and he says that um, there's two ways always to see these TLM one way is and maybe that's that's what we can reflect on in a time of safety and a time of shalom, which is most of the time, is to say that this is the way that uh, Hashem protects us. And these are different ways where we can be grateful to Hashem and reflect on the way that He looks after us. But on the other hand, in different times, this is a tefillah as well. It's a tefillah to say to Hashem, Hashem, protect us in these ways. Hashem, give the tzaddikim what's coming their way, take them down and uplift, uh, uh, sorry, the Rishayim, give them what's coming their way, take them down, and the Tzadikim should be uplifted and protected because we believe in you. So I think that that's some way to just contend with sometimes that, like, that's, right, like the Tzadikim Rebbe said, when you look at the reality, it's sometimes hard, but close your eyes and, and use it as a place of Tfilah, and we can do that. Um, the Da'at Mikra over here says, it's the same thing with the Yud Gimel Midot, uh, the Shosh Yisrael Midot, where on the one hand, they're describing Hashem's Midot as being Hashem, Hashem, Kel Rachum, Chanu, Nerach Apayim. On the other hand, it's also a tefillah to say to Hashem, please, Hashem, express yourself in, in being a Kel that is Rachum, that is Chanun, that's Chesed, Lalafim. So keep that in mind as, as we see these lines. Um, so those that trust in Hashem are as Mount Zion, which cannot be shaken, but abides forever. So the commentators over here say that the 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 fact that that, that we that we trust in Hashem gives us the strength of a mountain. They also say someone if who's who's able to find a bit lachon b'Hashem, Hashem shochen bo. He he gets the, the same like we look at Haratzion and we see the Shechina settling on on Haratzion in the sense of Yishalayim. So so too when we build our, our, our same sense of Bitachon Bashem, we have that same Shekhinah that's brought about, uh, brought down to us. Habotchen Bashem to Haratzion. So just like the Shekhinah comes down there. And also that we know a mountain is like this impenetrable force of strength. So so we should get that strength as well. Lo yimot lo lam yashem. It cannot be shaken. Um, it will always be uh, set. So um, we see here in this Tehillim also lots of different connections to the previous Tehillim. So we know that we saw um, uh, Loyimot is from Kuf uh, from your 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 leg shall not, shall not falter, Ali Ten Lamot Raglecha, and uh, we'll see lots of these different hints to the ones that come before. They also say that the the two Tehillim that come before are in a flow, like a consecutive flow from uh, with this one as well. So we ended off the one before saying. Ozreinu b'shem Hashem osir shemaim ba'aretz. It sounds like 121 again. Ezri me'im Hashem osir shemaim ba'aretz. And then you've got that Ali ten lamot raglecha lo yimot lo lam yeshev. It's the same. Uh, it's the same feeling. Yerushalayim harim savivla. I always like reading these to him, and then like ah. Oh. That's where this beautiful phrase is from, and it even gets any better. Don't look to the end. Spoiler alert: the end of the Tehillim has got a got a great phrase. Um, so uh, we sing about Yerushalayim being this very unique geographical setup where all the mountains surround it, and um, it's like this humble mountain in the middle, but all the the mountains surround it, and uh, you feel like the the protection that it has. 
And where does that protection come from? The, the geographical um, depiction of Yerushalayim being in the middle that's protected by the mountains around it is a, a living metaphor for Hashem having Yerushalayim in the middle and Hashem surrounding us and uh, and protecting us. So that same image, if we think of like what are the images that will help our Kavanah in each of the Tilim, that's an image that, that we can think about here, like seeing Yerushalayim safe and sound with our presence very set in Yerushalayim and, and in the Harabayit. Um, but think of the mountains being that same expression of it. Um, and then extend that as a tefillah to the rest of, of, uh, of Am Yisrael, of Medinat Yisrael, that, that our borders that surround us, that surround Am Yisrael, should be strengthened and, and be stronger and not just be defensive, but also be offensive in their, uh, in, in their protection of us. Um, like we said before, there's this um, recognition and fila that um, that this uh, this you know um, Avihai says rod of wickedness, um, but even maybe even a tribe of wickedness, like we saw in the previous tale, and we've looked at like that that the 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 wicked people they could have the greatest disagreements in the world, all the different nations that are against us. Always we always acknowledge the arrival of our chayal in the shetach. Aitan when he joins us. Thanks, Aitan. Good to see you. Look at you, the coolest chayal out there. Well done. Um, so so we, we spoke about the Rishayim, that they could have many different distinctions between them. They could have tremendous infighting and possibly not speak to each other for all the reasons in the world, but there's one reason that unites them, and that's their hate and anti-Semitism. That's their hate for us. So it says like uh, it says like not not true lev yachdav or something like that, right? We saw before. I think in uh, it was the day of rage one kuf mem gimel. I think it was kuf mem bet, where um, uh, the, the hearts are tied together, right? Like we kishu echad belev echad with our emuna for Hashem and our connection to the Torah. They have lev yachdav because of uh, because of us. Right? What what binds their hearts is the hate that they have in their hearts for us. So, so maybe that's another um, another understanding. Like this tribe of evil over here, the, it's translated as the rod of wickedness um, in terms of its strength. So Hashem will not allow. We don't know Hashem should not allow the strength of the evil to come down on the fate of the righteous. So that the that that they that they are not able to to have any dominion or strength. Um, to put the tzadikim into the hands in, in, uh, to do sin and to do iniquity. Um, Hashem, you should do good to the good and to the upright in their heart. And again and again, we're like constantly davening for this, that in a world that very quickly bounces back to its space of blurring the truth and uh, standing up for the Rishayim, uh, you saw these... Uh, uh, so silly, like you know, you've reached the level of of insanity in the world when you've got that uh, that strange being Greta Thunberg, right? Who, who shouts and screams for for the environment, and now Sandy's holding a free Palestine thing. It's like, okay, now we know that if the world's trusting in her opinions, um, we know we've gone back to where we were, um, where good is not seen as good, evil is not seen as evil, um, and that's part of our tefillah here, yeah, right? This double language of tov that. Good is not always apparent in and of itself. We have to dive in that good is seen as good, right? And that Hashem should do good to the good. And to the uprights in their hearts. Um, Isharim, we know, is, is a special language that's reflected on people who not just Tov, not just Sadikim, not just Hasidim, but Yisharim is talking about an inner deep morality. We spoke about that, that the Nativ. Um, in his introduction to Bereshit, he says that the Nevi'im called Bereshit Sefer Hayashar because it's modeled on the Yesharim, on Avram Yitzhak Yaakov. It's the Yesharim that teach us morals before we then learn the Halachot. So, so, so that's an extra special thing. And we should not only be good, we should not only be righteous, we should also be deeply moral um, as the bedrock of our righteousness. Um, here we go. Here's the, the big phrase coming up. Vahamatim akal kolotam yolichem Adonai poalei aven shalom al Israel. 
right? Nice to see that in the Tehillim. But as for such that turn aside to their crooked ways, Hashem will lead them away with the workers of iniquity. So the people who choose um, who choose wicked things, Hashem allows them to go on that path and even you know lets them go there. Hopefully, so that they get the 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 punishment they deserve. Um, reminds me of Paro as well, right? That Paro, in a sense, lost his ability to discern between good and evil. Once he was on his wicked path of evil, Hashem coveted Lev Paro. Hashem hardened Paro's heart. You know, if you choose to take a few actions to be on the side of evil and to lead the side of evil, so then Hashem's always looking for you know the ultimate bad guy that, that he can then um, come down on to show what is good and what is evil. So so too these wicked people. Perhaps we're going to see their wickedness even being strengthened, so that that can be so clear um, that that when these God bad things happen to them, it's a sign of Hashem doing good to the good and bad to the bad, and uh, end off with this tefillah of peace be upon Israel, shalom al Israel. I think we can take that into our day every moment. Shalom al Israel, shalom al Israel, uh, which has from David Hamelech's words that he wrote very equally. Right, all these different sukim, all these different tilim. He wrote in different ways. There's a strength in recognizing which are the words of David Amelech that then became part of our daily lexicon and feel that power within them. Um, we know that like, th there's a tremendous belief in halakha that uh, halakha is not just this up to, uh, you know, uh, top down approach, that whatever Hashem and, and, and Chazal will tell us to do, we need to just take it in. There's also a relationship between Am Yisrael. On the on you know on, on the gra on the grassroots level to how that halakha is accepted. So um, as an example, there's like this phrase you know that the chachamim don't keep to gezera because they say gezera she'en atzibur yachol lamod ba that there's certain decrees that the that Amishal can't hold by. So those decrees don't hold. Um, so the same thing with uh, um, with uh, you know with a phrase like this. There's, there's a lot of power within Am Yisrael that when we, over the ages, take a phrase and we turn it into our own, we should see the strength in that. So, Shalom al Yisrael, Shalom al Yisrael. Anybody got any reflections before we say this specific feeling that they want to reflect on what we've shared? Yeah, or if not, we'll go directly into saying it line by line and you can uh, share and uh, chat afterwards. Okay, let's go into it. Let's say it together. I'll say one line, you say the next line. The easiest way to unmute yourself is control D. Um, <laughs> I'm <laughs> Belai <laughs> Sal <laughs> Thank you.
Yosef Moshe Baron, David Shlomo, we were a fish more, we saw an eight rights of Agnes Lushfuyam, Botoham Daniel Shuman Sharon, at Kolahan, one of the Nimitravishivia, Babush Kolakal, Akadosh, as a meat pale, Baburam, Akadosh, where we may have a name, Yotzi Mehosh, with some of it, who must show them your neck, Muzakota, Yem Yoshiem, Shivam, Alek, Mishpota, Yem Yodan, and I have stopped the plot of the Nadam. Bikuyam by Emigrash, a gatu, up to Yadna, I should not see on Berina. The Simhat, Ola, Marsham, the Samsim Hayasigu, the Nasu Yagon, and the Hav and Omar, Amen. Just do Achainu all together. Achainu, Kobe, Tisman, Mitzar, 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 it's starting a new weekend, waking up again is this new reality after Shabbat requires a different type of strength. So I think we can leverage off all the strength we've had before and say, you know, we've come out of this moment every morning and done good things. So too we should uh, find that same quach to to rise up and, uh, and and do good things, looking after ourselves properly. It becomes like a increasing challenge, looking after our families and then giving whatever support we can to... Um, to our soldiers and to our volunteers and being volunteers and all those things. Hashem should give us all of that. It should be Shomer Yisrael and we should have lots of Shalom Al Yisrael. Amen. 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 If you want to hear anything Amen. on this Tehillim, please go ahead. Amen. Anything interesting? Okay. Thank you very much, Leron, again. Thank okay, you. I really pleasure. appreciate this every morning. Amen. Thanks. Thank you.